Hello viewers, this is Heherotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Previously, we landed at the Slurry Coast region, and we completed the level 15 martial artist quest. Now we're continuing our exploration of the Slurry Coast. And these Bud Brothers certainly love to call for backup. Those badges seem quite dangerous. Oh, quit doing that. And those badges also seem to enjoy silencing my party members. So long, enemies. I think that calls for a heal all. So now we'll be heading clear to the north of this region because there is a resource collection area up there. Now up here, you may be able to collect fresh water if it has spawned there. Sometimes though, it doesn't seem to spawn all that often. So long, Bud Brothers, and so long, Badger. Well, now that we've struck out trying to collect fresh water, we'll head here to the next town. This is the town of Dowerbridge. Looks a little better than Pick'em. You're a traveler, aren't you? Don't be offended, but I'd suggest you leave Dower Bridge right this minute. If you stray down off the bridge into the town itself, you'll end up stripped of all your belongings just like I was. That's not nice. Oh, what's happening? It's that ghostly girl again.
No, not here either. Huh? Sh Shirley. I'm not Shirley. What is it? No, no it can't be. What am I thinking, mistaking a traveler for a Celestrian like that? Haven't I seen that fashion abomination somewhere before? Oh well, never mind. You've got figs to be finding, right? Well, let's hope your search is fruitful. Ha! Huh. Bad puns notwithstanding. Hey, who's there? I heard a woman's voice, I'm sure of it, but I don't see anyone about. That's because she was a ghost, mister. Well, let's start exploring this town. You're new here, eh? I don't know where you're from, but that don't matter here. Check your past in the river and let it all drift away. Dower Bridge is the place for all us folk with no better place to go. Just forget all your troubles and start afresh. And who is living in this ostentatious tent? Uh, woof woof. This is Cap'n Medlin's castle, Slurp. The Cap'n collects the many medals which are scattered all over the world. Aha! So we've found the many metal collector. And we have another medicinal herb and some lamb's wool. It's a portrait of a beautiful queen. She's smiling radiantly out of the picture. The treasure chest is locked. If you want your share of Captain Medlin's booty, bring him all the many medals you uncover on your travels. He might not seem it, but he's from an ancient family of many metal collecting kings. So mind your P's and Q's, alright? And let's see... We have 11 mini medals at present. Ah, a seed of sorcery. Ahoy there! I be Captain Max Medlin. Swashbuckling seafaring collector of only the miniest of metals. I sailed the seven seas all me years, plundering the most maximal amount of treasures me hold could carry. Until one day, the patch fell from me eye, and I saw that the maximum joy I ever had for myself was from the miniest of metals. What say ye, traveler? If ye happen across any mini metals on your travels, will ye sail my, my, my way with them? I'll make it more than worth your while. I've a boatload of booty to give ye in return. Are ye a steadfast swab and no mistake, bringing me medals right away like this? Maximal respect. Hand them over now. Ah, just look at that gleam. Like miniature suns they are. That's eleven mini medals you've given me. Thank ye kindly. I'm a man of me words, so here's some of the booty I promised ye. For four medals ye get the thief's key. All right, now we can unlock some of those treasure chests. And for eight medals, we get a Mercury's bandana. Two prizes right away. That's eleven medals I've had off you. That's no minimal amount. And when it reaches thirteen, you'll have me maximal respect 
and a bunny suit to boot. Good luck, me hearty. And the many medals that we've given him will show up here. Under Attributes Whole Party. And the Thief's Key will help us open locked treasure chests. And here's the Mercury Bandana. It boosts agility and magical mending. So I'll give it to my healer. Let's pop open this chest. Ooh, another mini medal. Here's one that you lost, Cap'n. Now let's explore the town proper. You're looking for a golden-colored fruit, you say? That bloke who lives in the little hut right in the middle of town had some kind of shining fruit. Until the other day, that is. A blue chest. A medicinal herb. Who would have thought I'd sell that shining fruit for such big money, eh? And it only cost me a pair of leather shoes. Hehehe. <laughs> eh? You're off to one and all, are you? Afraid I sold it to that weird old bloke who lives at the bottom of that mountain, Zier Rocks. If you want to go after it, just cross the bridge and follow the road east. Have a gander at the signs and you should be fine. I wonder what made the old fella pay so much for it, though, eh? So, we now have a clue as to the location of another fig. Hats off to headgear. Even if you can buy some of these hats in the shops, surely nothing surpasses the satisfaction of sculpting one yourself. Pointy hat, hunter's hat, ear cozy, tricky turban, Thief's Turban and Musketeer Hat. Don't roll your eyes, guys. Accessorize. Most male accessories are based on the warlike essence of aggressance. Get hold of some and away you go. Tough Guy Tattoo, Raging Ruby, Mighty Armlet. Ruby of Protection, Utility Belt, and Rosary. Does the Utility Belt have Batarangs? And we got a gold ring from that wardrobe. Old Man Mason lives all on his lonesome at the foot of Zier Rocks. He comes along from time to time to swap these amazing statues for food so he can carry on living like a hermit. With talent like that, you'd think he'd go and make his living in a big city somewhere. He could live like a king. Here is the inn. Stay here overnight. Thank you, innkeeper. What are you doing there? There's a right rich bloke over in Bloomingdale, just south of here. Got his own boat and everything. Imagine that, eh? Being able to travel all over the world in your own boat. Some people don't have half. Don't half have it good, eh? 
Oh, a boat, huh? There is a door back here, but it is locked. We'll need another key before we can get through it. Oh, but that news about a boat is quite welcome. And here we have an item shop. Some basic stuff. As well as some accessories and magic water. You what? Shopping? You'll have to go and talk to me fella out front about that, darling. We just did. Intermediate alchemy. He who masters the recipes herein can call himself a competent alchemist. Seek out the ingredients and set to work. Perfect panacea, Yggdrasil do, Sage's elixir, Astral plume, Celestial skein, and Lucida shard. Some of those are ingredients to other recipes. There was this strange shining fruit near the bridge the other day. One of our lot picked it up, but... Hmm, nope. Can't remember who it was now. Burr, I'm freezing. The fire's too weak. The only thing I've got left to burn are me pants. I don't suppose you've got something I could burn, have you? I can scrabble together something to give you in return, don't worry. So, we've got to do quest 13, all fired up. You can give him just about anything, but the cheapest thing to give him is a medicinal herb. Burr, my hands are frozen. Come on, give me something. So, I'll give him a medicinal herb. A medicinal herb? Let's give it a go, then. Oh yeah, nice. That's toasty, that is. Nice one, mate. I'd never have thought of that. Here you go. And he gives us one gold coin. Great reward. Oh well. Let's go in here for a moment. Haha, ha. look at these leather shoes I got. Swapped a shining fruit for them, I did. Pretty good deal, eh? I know you're jealous. You're joking. That bloke in the mask sold the shining fruit to old man Mason for big money? The bloomin' cheek of it. I was the one who found it. Where's my cut, eh? We have lots of visitors here. Old Man Mason is the strangest of them all, though. Come to think of it, he hasn't shown his face just lately. I wonder where he's got to. It might behoove us to check up on him. All right, there. If you fancy making a bit of a name for yourself, you should join my gang, the B-Team. Oh, hang about. I didn't realize you were still such an amateur. Come back when your thief level's about 15. I'll welcome you with open arms, then. Yeah, we have to have a member of the party actually in the thief vocation. He gives out the level 15 thief quest. You can't beat the grub here. Fit for a queen it is. It's enough to knock your socks off, it really is. I was once the head chef of a certain palace in the desert. But the demands of the petulant queen were more than I could bear, so I fled here. Sounds like that queen is a royal pain. I 
wonder if we'll meet up with her later on. You're new here, eh? I don't know where you're from, but that don't matter here. Chuck your past in the river and let it all drift away. Tower Bridge is the place for all us folk with no better place to go. Just forget all your troubles and start afresh. Oh, hello, bunny girl. If I stay here forever, my children won't stand a chance. That's why I'm scrimping and saving as much as I can. I'll pinch every penny the Almighty sends until we have enough to move somewhere far away from here and start all over again. Mom, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. When can we have something to eat? I'm starving! Mom! Better not scrimp so much that your kid starves.